Everyone expected this to be a close game. UTEP, a 43 and a half point underdog after all, but it was intriguing because it's the debut of Lincoln Riley as OU's head football coach. He just got the job less than three months ago, and it got even more intriguing when the OU offense started setting records. The Sooners jumping for joy to finally get this season started. Lincoln Riley making his debut as the 22nd head coach in OU history. Abdul Adams got the start at running back, trying to help fill the shoes of Joe Mixon and Samaj P. Ryan. Looking good on the first drive. Takes the short pass a long way. 34-yard gain on the play. Adams also led the Sooners in rushing. 53 yards on only seven carries in his first career start. Rodney Anderson finishes off the first drive with the two-yard score, and he's happy about it. It. Who's got the moves? Rodney's got the moves. The Miners showing some fight early on in this one. UTEP's first drive ends in a 17-yard Walter Don touchdown run, and we're tied at seven. Later in the first, the Sooners take the lead right back. Dimitri Flowers trots past the goal line, 14-7 Oklahoma. Marcellius Sutton with nine carries, the most in the game. He finishes with 52 yards and a score. Second quarter, Baker Mayfield to Grant Calcaterra. The true freshman gets his first career touchdown, and it's 21-7 Sooners. Wide receiver Jeff Bidette makes his Sooner debut, and the Kentucky transfer with maybe the play of the game. The juggling catch goes for 51 yards, and that deserves another look. The ball goes through the defender's hands, bounces off Bidette's body, and right into his hands, just like he planned it. That led to another Sooner score. Big day for Mark Andrews in this one. The junior tight end with seven catches for 134 yards and all in the first half. Those are both records for an OU tight end and both career highs in a full game for Andrews. Speaking of records, Baker Mayfield completed his first 16 passes of the game. That's a school record. Here's one of his three TD tosses. CeeDee Lamb with his first career score. OU up 35-7 at the half. No Baker Mayfield in the second half. Kyler Murray making his OU debut under center. And here it's one Allen Texas High School grad to another. A 43-yard touchdown connection to Lee Morris, and it's 42-7 Sooners on top. Still in the third quarter, another Sooner touchdown. This time it's Jackson Ewells. Just what you would expect. This one a Sooner blowout. Lincoln Riley wins his head coaching debut 56-7. Mayfield just silly good today, guys. 19 of 20 passing, 329 yards and three touchdowns. His passer rating, just 282.7. And Kyler Murray, his backup announced earlier this week, 10 of 11 in his debut, 149 yards and a touchdown. So the Sooners definitely spread the wealth. Eight different OU players got a touchdown today. And OU, it's 11-game winning streak dating back to last season. And this game this season is the longest in FBS currently. Now, of course, the big talk going into this one, Lincoln Riley, we mentioned a little bit. Also, the big talk after the game, whenever we talk to the Sooners and Lincoln Riley about his coaching debut. It was fun, you know, not not because it was my debut, just because it was a, a, a great moment for our team. And uh, again, our first chance to do this. And we've all, the whole team, the whole program has been through a lot here, you know, in the last few months. And so to finally just get out there and do what we love to do, to get a chance to go compete together, um, to do it the first one here at home was fun. So it was a, we enjoy winning here and uh, and we don't take it for granted. Win, wins are hard, they're all hard. And uh, we appreciate this one very much. And, and it, was a, it was a fun locker room. What would you say about that Lincoln Riley's debut? You. Incredible, you know, it's a, it's a great start and, you know, we, we started out fast and it was a good game. Oh, I think everyone's excited to get this, you know, out of the way and, you know, excited for him and let his era begin and he has great support from everybody uh, inside these walls and, you know, everybody goes out and tries to, you know, do their jobs and make it easier on him because we, do, we know he has a lot to do.